Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time, it's on a huge scandal that has just launched. So a former or current, I'm not sure, YouTuber, mommy vlogger, family channel, eight passengers, Ruby Frankie has allegedly been arrested for alleged child abuse? What? So I don't know what's going on here, but... I have never heard of this family, so apparently they're a Mormon family. Ruby and and oh, Kevin Frankie, um, not Grande, um, and apparently YouTubers have been calling out what they thought was alleged abuse for years. So apparently this isn't a shock to people that the mother has allegedly been arrested. Um, so it was apparently supposedly the mother and her business partner. Um, were arrested for child abuse because there was allegedly a child that was duct taped um, that escaped and was knocking on a neighbor's door for help and the police arrived and saw she was mal there or the child was malnourished and they went inside the house and another child was also malnourished um, so I don't know if they were both duct taped or not but they basically were like wondering if they were held hostage or some crazy stuff. So it's all alleged, obviously, but the mother has apparently been arrested and the business partner who you guys have told me was like a therapist that got in trouble and they're all Mormon and there's allegations of them being in a cult. There's a lot of stuff going on. So apparently this family has been famous for a while and there's been crazy stuff and people have been claiming that they were abused for a long time, allegedly. So... I'm going to do a reading on this. If you haven't looked it up, you should look it up because everyone's talking about it. All right. So remember the, all these reading, these readings are all Ledger Frontier Universe only. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. Remember, if you guys like these, you can always join my YouTube memberships. There are three tiers, $5, $10, and $15 and access to exclusive story times, pick a cards, and you can win a reading from me. All right. So. Let's start off with the mom. I want to look at the mom. Then I want to look at the, okay, what I'm going to do is the mom and then the business partner and the energy in between them. And then I want to do the mom and the dad and the energy between them. Are we shocker, shocked that the mom showed up as a tower? Okay. And then I want to do the mom and the dad and then we'll do their feelings towards the children. Okay. So the tower is upright for the mom. Shocker. A dramatic catastrophic event, drama, chaos. Um, that's what I would expect. So um, I do think that she's the mastermind behind most of this. Um, allegedly for interviewers only. <laughs> uh, and I also see her world crumbling. So um, I'd be shocked if charges didn't stick. I'd be shocked if something didn't stick. Typically with the tower, it means your world's about to come crumbling down and you're going to have to rebuild. Um, now the, uh, her business partner is on the opposite end of this and that's the 10 of swords, which is a betrayal or a backstabbing. I expect the two of them to throw each other under the bus. Um, I would expect her to probably try to get out of most of this by saying, oh, well, it's her children. She asked me to do it. So I definitely see them turning on each other. Um, this one is definitely out for themselves. I also see this one as 10 of swords is someone who will betray anyone to get what they want. So this is probably a scarier person than this, just because this person's obvious with their behavior. This would be the mom, but the business partner here is someone that will do anything to get ahead. This person scares the crap out of me. Um, the mom seems to me to just be kind of like, for lack of a better term, crazy. And then this one here with the 10 of swords is someone that scares me. Their energy is very cold, calculating, dark, will do anything to get what they want. This one to me feels very much like, okay, how do I explain this? If I were to put the energy that I'm feeling from the two of them into extreme extremes, this would be a narcissist and this would be a psychopath. Um, or maybe a sociopath. Like this one scares the shit out of me, makes my skin crawl. Okay. Now, in between the Ten of Wands, uh, a burden. Um, so for me, I see them thinking that children are a burden. Um, this lifestyle is a burden, and I take it out on those around me. So, shocker. Um, now, um, they are in a, a bit of trouble here. That's why I said I think something's going to stick. Now, the dad and the mom. So I did pull the mom for the left and the dad for the right, which is interesting because the mom showed up as the emperor. So she calls the shots. Um, I don't know if she's going to think that she can like throw the dad under the bus and it's like, oh yeah, he made me do this, but I don't believe that. And I don't know if you guys are going to believe that. I doubt it. 
I don't believe that. She could try that, but I don't believe that because this to me tells me she wears the pants. Uh, the emperor in her position tells me that she's kind of like the dad as well. Um, the hermit is about him being introspective and isolating. So um, I kind of think that he kind of goes along with anything that she says. The ace of wands, the return of something old. I feel like she holds things against him. I feel like she maybe found out something about him, like a dirty, dark secret and kind of holds it against him because that's the vibe I'm getting. It's like, I, you need to do what I say because I, I'll do this against you. I definitely see him being slightly threatened. But at the same time, I mean, he went along with it, right? So you're, you're kind of just as guilty in some people's eyes, you know? So, I mean, I'm not, I really don't have much empathy for him, but I think he has a secret he's trying to hide. Um, and I think she knows about it. Um, or he's trying to, trying to um, hide it from her, which is why he's pulling back. So, I mean, you let this happen and you contributed to it. So I don't really have much empathy in this position, unfortunately. Um that being said, the the hermit being upright tells me that I think he uh, I think he went through a lot of stuff himself. Hermit is usually about someone who dealt with like a traumatic childhood or something who's like really going through a lot of issues. Um, I, the mom to me just feels like someone who is a product of their environment. That's why I said she feels very much like a narcissist to me because a lot of times narcissists are created from their environment, and I just I don't know. Anyways, that's their dynamic. Also. Do they still have intimacy? Because Ace of Wands has intimacy issues. So I'm like, does he find her attractive? Does she find him attractive? Is there something else going on? Is that a part of the secret? I'm like... Anyways. So I want to see their feelings towards their children. I think they pit the children against each other. Or at least the mom... Someone pits the children against each other. The, the Two of Cups and the Page of Swords. That's about pitting the children against each other. The moon. Lies, deceit, deception. Um, telling one person one thing, another person another, making them compete against each other. Um, I just see it. You know what I'm seeing in my mind's eye? I'm seeing the mom like making the children competitive against each other, kind of vying for her attention. And then I see the dad like hiding in his room on the, on a on laptop. It's weird. Like in the dark, I see him like in, a, in the dark on a laptop, like on the internet. I'm like, what are you doing on the internet? Things you shouldn't be doing. Like, what are you doing on there? That's what I see in my mind's eye. Um, it's like he's like in the, in the man cave, um, which is weird. Why is he so like absent for me and pulled back? Hands off. It's weird. I don't know. Anyways, it could be a metaphor too. So maybe even if he was actively involved, it might just be a metaphor for, I just saw something flash. That's weird. Anyways, um, yeah, let's keep going. I don't think that I just, I, I hate to say this about a mother and you know, I'm open to being wrong and you guys can drag me, but I just, the page of cups of verse and the eight of wands, which tells me that like, I just think that the mom, seven of cups is a verse. I don't think that parenting was what she thought it would be. And I don't think that she's getting, she got the joy out of it she thought she would. And I do think she takes everything out on her children, but that's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue for me is that the page of cops is a verse. It's like not having any sentimentality or attachment. Like a page of cops reverse is something I would pull if someone was going through like postpartum, whatever it's called. Is that what it's called? When like, postpartum depression or whatever do you know what I mean you know how like some women when they first give birth they don't feel attached to their baby and they go through that postpartum depression period that's what I would pick that's what I would pull for the page of cups not for a mom of like eight like I hate to say this about a mother but I don't see her being sentimentally attached or emotionally invested in her children to me it's transactional that's the word I would use. It's transactional. It's like if you were to have children to further an agenda or something or to like work for you. Like if I were to pop out babies to like, you know, work for me or something, it's weird. Like it wasn't what she thought it would be. And it's just not only does she resent them, but it's like she doesn't, I don't feel her love for them.
makes me sad. Okay, well, I will tell you this. The Eight of Swords is a victim of circumstance, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Whoever left... Okay, so I don't really know what the hell's going on with this family, so I need you guys' help in my comments. Whoever left the family, when they left the family, I guess it's probably the oldest, everyone else got it 10 times worse. Like, I'm seeing all of them get increasingly punished because of someone else leaving. It is giving me cold. This is giving me cold vibes. Because when you, whenever someone leaves the cult, they have to be shunned or whatever. That's what it's giving. The Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Strength card is like, oh, really? I need to make sure that never happens again. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about... Okay. I know... Okay. Has there been, like... Okay, I'm gonna say something and I just just answer me. Don't come for me because I don't watch them and I know some of you did. Did any of the children were, exhibit any behaviors that were like gay or something and it was shut down? Because the temperance card to me is is what that's pointing towards. The temperance card when it's reversed for me um, in the nine of pentacles, that's like my individuality and the same temperature cards, like I'm not allowed to try things. And the three of swords is like predicting the worst. That's like, my child can't be gay. My child can't do this. My child can't do that. My child can't do that. Like you can't do this. Like almost like pushing strict gender roles on children or pushing strict rules. And you can't do that because of this. Like there's something weird about that. Um, and you know what, this might not be public knowledge, but maybe one of the people will watch this and be able to confirm some part of that because that's what I'm seeing is like you can't do that you can't try that and it's almost like snuffing out the flame okay I'm gonna try and say this without getting very angry as a gay person but it's almost like snuffing out the flames of someone it's like oh I can see there's a little bit of fruitiness in you no which bothers me I think it triggers any gay person to hear that but yeah, that's uh, and it doesn't have to be gay. It doesn't have to be that. I mean, it could just be what I'm getting at to feel the energy. It could just be like you like the doll and you're a boy. Boys aren't supposed to like dolls. Like it could just be that. But that's what I'm feeling, and I'm I'm seeing one of them get it really bad because of that. Like really bad. All edge of friend chambers only. No facts here. Just opinions. Um, the Queen of Swords is reversed, the Devil card, and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, I'm like trying to find anything else to say here that's not doom and gloom, but this is crazy to me. The Devil card and the Queen of Swords is Karen energy, um, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like whatever religious practice she initially started out as, I think she wanted it even stricter. I The devil card here is my, and the queen of swords like, no, no, this isn't vindictive enough. This isn't spiteful enough. This isn't nasty enough. This woman really, really likes to punish people. <laughs> um... She should have been a dominatrix instead of whatever the hell she's doing now because this is crazy to me. I see someone that actually likes to inflict pain. I'm like, it's giving narcissists. Like, why do you like to inflict pain? What is wrong with you? I'm confused. And the devil card here too is like, like I mean, that would be like the devil's in you. Like, what? I think one of the children is going to speak soon. I expect a video from one of the children. I think what you're going to hear is going to shock the shit out of you because the magician is a verse, which means that there's a lot of stuff that we haven't heard that we might, especially because I see a giant court case. Because the fool's like a coming out card. So it's like, I'm going to tell everyone. There's a bombshell coming. 
this is worse than you guys think. There's a huge allegation and bombshell coming. Huge. Five of Cups, High Priestess, and King of Pentacles. Are any of them like a vlogger on their own? Because they might be. They might start making TikToks or vlogs or something. <clears throat> One of them is definitely going to become an influencer for sure. It's King of Pentacles here. Documenting the journey. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reverse, and Two of Wands surviving this there's like huge huge potential for the story about surviving abuse a legend yeah there's the hangman the page of wands and the chariot once everything stops and once the police like get involved and everyone's separated i think you're gonna hear a lot more it's like it's giving Good Morning America interview tease. I just can't feel the dad's energy and I don't understand why. I can't pick up on the dad anymore and I don't really pick up on the cult leader because the, the cult leader, quote unquote, like her business partner. Um, yeah, when I try to pull on her energy, I just she just seems like a snake oil salesman to me allegedly so it's like uh seven of pentacles reversed star reversed and the four swords i just feel like the mom will find anything to suit her needs like so even in a strict household and even in a mormon household right the rules make somewhat of sense her rules change every minute she wakes up and just decides that she wants to change the rules like what i'm seeing is someone the stars reversed and the seven of pentacles it's like if you laughed and you enjoyed something, she'd be like, actually, that's that's demons and Satan. You're not allowed to watch that anymore. And if you walked out in a red dress and you looked better than she looked, she'd be like, you can't wear red anymore. Red is a devil color. Like, I don't know. Everyone walks on eggshells around her. Four swords reversed in the star. Everyone is terrified of her. How did she get in this position? There's the Empress. That's mom, the world, and the Nine of Cups. She's able to get whatever she wants. What was her upbringing like? Was she coddled? Empress and Nine of Cups. Hmm. Something's wrong with her. Hierophant, Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. What the fuck is going on here? I might have to do a part two. Three of Wands being reversed is so weird. Uh, she might have just been a bad seed. I'm not sure. Nine of Swords, Hierophant. Hierophant is marriage and commitment. Did she seek out her partner or her husband or did her husband seek her out? Does anyone know the story of their love? Did they ever talk about it? Because I see Ruby as one of the most planned out and calculated people that I've ever connected to energetically. Like to the point where I see like a 16 year old looking for the perfect person and making sure they find them. Like it's weird. It's really creeping me out. 
Like, I know for a fact that I want this guy. This is the perfect guy, and I'm going to get him. I... I don't know what they've told you. I don't know. I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments, but if I don't if she said that he found her, I don't believe it. I believe she found him. I believe that she aimed for him specifically, and I believe that I'm I really I I'd be shocked if she wasn't a narcissist because this is giving me and I'm usually not super confident about this, but I'm pretty confident about this just for the simple fact of I can see her plotting and scheming and I can see her doing this at a young age and I can see this going on forever and ever and ever and I don't see a time where she wasn't like this. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, this is, I literally see this as like a little monster, like a monster child. Like, I literally see her as like, like she, I, she doesn't, I don't feel her loving people. I feel her using people. People are objects for me to use. And so someone pissed me off. So now I'm going to find the perfect guy to give me what I want. Like, It's, it's, I think she's a narcissist. I think the other one's a psychopath, and I think this one's a narcissist. I guess, whatever, maybe psychopaths are a bit extreme. The other one feels like a snake oil salesman, salesman but she's, she's an, I think she's a narcissist. All legit for tampers only, but that's what I feel, really, and I never say that, but this is weird. Like, <laughs> this girl, like, geolocated. You know what I'm seeing in my mind? I'm seeing in my mind's eye, like, do you remember the Chris Watts case with the like mistress or whatever? It's giving that like Googling. I can, I even see like what I'm seeing is like, like a witch scrying for like the location of someone. So that to me symbolizes like from Charmed. So that to me symbolizes like I'm going to find him. Like I'm going to make sure I'm at the same place at the same time. Like I'm going to make sure like this is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm creeped out. If you want a part two and have other questions, let me know. Because I don't know what else to read on. And I don't know what else to say. This one's, she's, I'm right in her energy. And this is, I've never really had access to someone like this before, energetic. Like, I've never felt someone like this completely. Like, I can tell you all of her motivations. Because they're so obvious to me. There's just one child that's treated the worst. I wonder if they have guilt about leaving and don't want to leave. If they're one of the ones that didn't want to leave because they watched what happened to them when the other one left. It's possible. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that, honestly. I don't. I really don't know what else to say. The story is unfolding, so I'm sure there'll be a part two. If you guys like that, follow me on my socials, Twitter, YouTube here. Subscribe to me, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch. I stream live on all of those. Uh, join the YouTube memberships, $5, $10, $15 tiers. You get exclusive story times, pick a card, you can win readings from me. Until next time, good luck.